All right, this week we're going to be building a brochure and a business card. So to, in order to do that, we're going to go down to our start menu and pull it up. Uh, we can go into the Microsoft Office 2013 package is what we're going to be using. This is the professional version. If you don't have um, Publisher, so here's Publisher right here. I'm going to open it up. If you don't have Publisher, you can actually use Microsoft Word for this. And uh, you can go into Word. Let me show you real quick. If you if you don't want to use, or, or if you don't have Publisher to use it at home, or, or if you don't have it available to you. You can go into Word, and... Uh, then while you're in Word, you can actually uh, go in to the uh, the options here and actually pull up a brochure. Okay, and search the the templates. So just like that, type in brochure. Um, you can go to New, and then uh, if you're in 2010 or 2007 you can go into new and and pick up from the templates uh, 2013 you can you're going to type into the search brochure and pull up a brochure and change it with that uh, so that's in word uh, if you're going to be using publisher then uh, it's a kind of a similar setup here let's get to publisher So the same deal. It's just going to have brochure as one of the main links on the on the beginning um, page here. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a trifold. So you can you can search around. You can use any of them that you want to use. Um, but we're looking for a uh, it says a tri three or fourfold brochure. So um, then you bring it up and create. this and it's going to be it's going to have two pages so it's going to have the front uh, fold here and then the second fold in the back here okay and so the idea is is to uh, bring it up and then to start changing the the text and the pictures uh, to match up with uh, your either your real or an imaginary business that you're going to be uh, coming up with. Okay, so now now that we have our brochure pulled up, the template that we want to use, then we're going to have to we're going to start uh, editing the text and the uh, graphics that are here. So it has the layout, so we're not going to mess with the layout too much, but we can go in and uh, change. Uh, the text and you can go to say for example you want to go to uh, a website and kind of pull out some text from a website um, and and copy it onto here you can do that um, or you can uh, you can just kind of make it up as you go here so product service information so we can say business consult Counting. Okay. Organization name. We're going to put it like here. I can put uh, Bell Consulting. And my business tagline is going to be. Uh, making I'm sure somebody already thought of this one here business smart something like that okay so here's here's where we put a logo okay and so and, and there's also another text uh, another graphic over here and there's a graphic on the next page and so what we can do is we can actually uh, right click here and we can uh, we can change picture okay so we can change it um, you may want to just delete it and then 
put a new picture into the same place. Well, let's go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like to change a picture. Okay, so here uh, we, it's going to pull up in 2013. It pulls up, uh, gives you some options of searching for images. Uh, you can also browse your computer, so that was one of the options. So I can, uh, let's say I'm going to put in uh, this archer picture here, clip art. And so you see what happens is you change your picture, it's going to want to keep it the same shape. Okay, so it's going to cut the, the top off my little archer's head. Uh, and and so it's going to, going to do that. It also throws the old picture out here onto the side, onto our um, kind of our cutting board, so to speak. And so just so you know, that's what happens. And so what we can do is, uh, is we can actually change. Let's let's actually insert a picture here. So we go up to insert at the top. Go to picture, and this time we're going to put uh, the little AOL running guy in here. Insert, and then you're going to have to. It gives you nice lines to go by, uh, but then you're going to have to resize it. into the right size that it's going to fit. So there we go. So that, that may be a little easier for you uh, than to change the picture because a lot of times, like like I said, it's going to keep the same uh, ratio, the same size, and it may cut part of your picture off. You may not want that to happen. So you can keep uh, changing things. So say I want to go out onto a website here. Um, say I want to go out onto... Uh, let's go on to Berkshire, Berkshire Hathaway. So that's a pretty um, Warren Buffett's, you know, company. Uh, and I'm going to take some of the text out of from Warren Buffett here and put it into mine. So I'm going to copy. So here's the website I'm going off of here. So I went out and searched and found a company that I wanted to take some text off of. I highlighted, and you can do Control C or you can right click and copy. And then we can move maybe the text in here. And then I can paste it into. Uh, There we go. So let's paste it in there, and I can call this Warren's uh, text, something like that. And so we can change all of these items um, that we want to change. Uh, so, and you can, you just need to make sure you get everything uh, updated on the back on page two and page one. Um, and then uh, the next thing we're going to do, I'll show you uh, how to pull up the formatting for the business card. Okay, so here we are in Publisher 2013. And we can, uh, we're, we're in uh, the main screen that pulls up as we, as we open Publisher. And we can, uh, we're going to be looking for a business card. So we can go into the search here. Business card. Okay, so here's a lot of options here. Uh, that one actually looks like the one that I used, used before, so I'm going to use that same thing there. Okay, so it pulls it up. It's just one page. It's pretty simple text file you got to update the text here so for example I can organization name I can put in uh, Bell consulting your name so this is the actual person's name here Darren Bell
president. Okay. All right, and so for the logo here, uh, we're going to be um, putting in uh, a picture. Okay, so is what we're going to use. We're going to go ahead and insert picture, and we're going to use. Let's see what logo we're going to use. This arrow, the logo here. Cut it down to size a little bit. There we go. And there's my little arrow. So we're going to use that. And then I can update all my information. Uh, you can put, you know, uh, Whatever, whatever information you want to put. If you want to make a real one or you kind of want to make things up, that's okay. Just need to fill it out and then we can save it and submit it. So you're going to be submitting uh, the brochure and the business card. So there are two separate, um, two separate documents that you're going to be submitting for this week's for the assignment.